chapter 10, section 1. Not a target, but the anchor target. Uh, I had to discuss about this one earlier when we, I discussed about anchors. But with targets, also the iframes come in mind. And the iframes is the previous lesson. So if you didn't miss that, go to there and I will see you back later. So the summary. First, the anchor target. We're going to discuss about the several anchor targets. And then we're going to discuss about the several values you have. So first, the anchor target. Um, if I have an anchor, a link, in which browser would it open? Uh, is it in the same screen? Is it in a new screen? So it opens a new browser or a new tab? Or in a certain iframe? I can define that one with the target. So I type in target and here comes the value I want. So I can open it in a new screen, same screen, certain iframe, whatever I want. So what kind of values do we have? We have the default value and it opens in the, in the frame where it's now, in its fr own frame. Um, that's a default. Uh, that's basically the target equals underscore self. Its own frame is self. So I can leave this one away. It will open uh, in its own frame. Then the new frame. If I want to open in a new frame, I can use targets equals underscore blank. And I see I'm sloppy again because I missed the double quotes. But underscore blank will open a new uh, screen. And we saw that already. We know that command from the anchor uh, lesson earlier. If I don't want to uh, open it in its own frame but in its parent frame then I use target underscore parent so it will get out of its own iframe and will open the browser it's above its own parent we can also say if I have uh, many many uh, well, more iframes nested so an iframe in an iframe in an iframe I can also say just leave the frames away I want to open it in the top browser, the top parent in the grandpapa of the iframes. Uh, if I want to do that, I just say underscore top. I can also jump from one iframe to another iframe. Let's say I have four iframes and I want to say I want to go to iframe two or three or four, doesn't matter, just use the target and type in here the iframe uh, you have. And you have to, of course, identify your iframe as well. That's with the name tag. So a lot of talking and hopefully a lot of it showing now. I'm going to demonstrate it. I'm going to my folder. And in previous lesson, I already created the iframes. Let's open this one. This is an iframe with three frames and these are the files for that one. And the files, they are in here. And to be more clear, um, let's go in here. I also named those iframes as well, and it could be important for later. So a uh, few page source, and this is one, two, and three. So I've actually named them. So the first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna change iframe number one. And let's say here in iframe number one, Come on, my computer is getting slow. I don't know why. There we go. Okay, uh, I want to have an anchor, href equals, and let's just open iframe number two, dot html. And don't forget to close again. And then I say here is go to two and close it. And that's the default what we have. Let's take a break. And the next one I can say uh, target is self. So file save. Go to the browser. Close this one. Go in here and refreshed also. So now I have two links, go to two, to two, this is the one, going to two, 
Yep, this one. So that's the same. Um, I have to correct this one. This is going to two with self. So this is the same. Now the next one that we have. Um, let me copy this. And the next one we had was the blank. So go to two with the blank option. Create a new one. We also had the top, uh, sorry, the parent. So go to two with the parent. Then we have the top. And I can also say, go to another, go to another iframe, and let's say go to iframe three. So go to two in iframe three. This is iframe, iframe three. File, save. Let's refresh it. Refresh it. I'm not Asian. It's refreshing, not refreshing. So two, 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 two. There we go. Uh, opening to two. We're opening to blank. Blank will open a new tab, a new browser. We have a parent. Then we'll open uh, the top of this iframe, and this is this one. Yep, that's open in here. We have the top. Let's say this one iframe was nested again. I could still go to the top one, so the biggest browser. And there we go. Uh, sorry, and there we go. Click the correct one. Then I can also go to two and go to another iframe. So iframe three. So I can open two into iframe three. This is iframe three. So we'll open iframe two. Let's see. Click, and you see the three changed into a two. So this is how we can do it. It doesn't have to be everything with iframes, you can do it normally with uh, normal anchors as well. So we saw was the target, could be important, could be handy, and then the separate target values we had. This was Dion Dresch's for Education Org. I want to thank you for staying smart.